Welcome back, Okraheads. Halo Okraheads here. Just going to be bringing you a follow up video to um, fending off dragon attacks uh, for Town Hall 8. Um, I had KJE, I featured him. I'm going to link the video for so the previous video. But KJE, he changed his base around. And here in this war, he fended off, I believe, three or four bases um, against him. And finally, he, he was only able to get three-star by someone attacking um, uh, pretty low from him. So he f starts off here. He, look how he changed his base. If you remember from last time, I, I talked about Town Hall 8's, the vast majority of attacks are dragon attacks. Yes, you will have the go wipes here, just like this one. Uh, but again... You should always plan for the dragon attack and look at his defense. He did nicely. He, he put those uh, storage units around the air defenses. Um, that way um, the, uh, the, the dragons would get slowed down. But even in a ground attack, these offense, these ground units get slowed down by, the, um, by those storage units as well. And because of that, he's able to only get two start here. Um, and when you can just hold off a two star on a Town Hall 8, it's really a big because that means one of the Town Hall 9s um, will have to drop down and three start um, for a, a used attack. So very good job from KJE from changing his base around. Again, please watch uh, the previous video I did on fending off dragons because uh, here... Um, it's just a very nice base design and he doesn't even have you know all his walls upgraded as well or his um all his defensive structures as uh, either so he was able to hold off an attack here um very impressive defense i'm just going to speed it up um because he was he just ran out of time couldn't get it get it done now the second attack on the show um or the second defense i should say uh, against KJE, <clears throat> uh, just scrolling down here, going to find it. I marked it um, where it was. This is against. Um, oh, it's the wrong one. <laughs> wrong one. He's attacking. Uh, wrong. Wrong video there. Let me back up and, and get it again. Uh, so, uh, just quickly scrolling through. Um, we. Um, I'm going to also talk about this war. How we actually lost it. I'm going to bring a war recap. Um, of this war to, s to let you know the importance of attacks. But here's a dragon attack. And this is what you're defending against. Now, here, look what he's coming in from the west. and um, But what he soon finds out is those storage units just slow him down. And those air defenses are dead in the center. Even if he had used lightning, uh, it still wouldn't have been effective. Um, and the guy and the attacker, you know, he funneled well, um, and he was probably a little late on his loons. I think he has loons in the clan castle late and a bad spell placement there. You always do rage first. If you're going to heal, heal after they go through. Definitely late on the loons, and that's one of the reasons why he uh, failed this attack, as well as his spell placement was just really off. Uh, but again... See, with the loons, you know, in, in dragon attacks, loons usually take out those air defenses, or at least one of the air defenses, um, but he wasn't able to get this one. And so because of that, you need to have defensive structures kind of around the air defenses. That way, when the loons come in, they spread out. They won't go directly towards the air defense. They might branch off to hit the cannon or the wizard tower or some archer tower. That way, it'll give you more time for those air defenses to take down those dragons. And it's all about giving the air defenses the time necessary to take out those dragons there because you know if you don't have a you know even with a solid attacker even though this guy was not a solid attacker he did bad on his spell placement even with a solid attacker a well-defined base um will give you the victory um at least not getting the three star and that's the important thing holding off on the three star so for this attacker fig newton to get the three star on us um it took um again i, I said four attacks against um kje uh so very impressive work um very impressive work for for kje here uh this attack uh it's the wrong one i i'm gonna bring you one final one final defensive play and i think that's from their that's the three star here but look it was had to be done by 
um, you know, they're number 20. So he had to drop down four spots to take them out. So, you know, very, very solid here. He's coming in with a unique kind of um, troop structure. He's bringing a bunch of Pekkas uh, and no Golems, um, all Pekkas. I think he has um, one more Pekka in the clan castle as well. Um, and those Pekkas just, even though they went on the outside, he honestly didn't funnel good well at all. I mean, he funneled terribly. But because they're just so powerful, um, he was able to get the three star. But this three star came down to the wire. Um, it was just one more cannon shot, and he would have only gotten the two star. So just yet again, this base is very well def um, defended. So check it out. Please remember to, um, when you're Town Hall 8, defend against the dragon attacks. Um, and move those storage units around to protect your air defenses. Um, and um, definitely put the air mines next to the air defenses as well. But look, look at this right here. He's barely going to get this three star. One more hit from the cannon, and that Pekka would have been killed. So very unlucky from KJE. But great defense, KJE. And, you know, he was able to redesign his base. But guys, thanks for watching. I'll be continuing to be bringing you some videos for Town Hall 8. I feel like it's neglected in the major channels. But anyways, thanks again for watching. We will see you next time. And as always, Halo out.